I just went down the hallway to switch my laundry and realized that I haven't checked the mail in a couple weeks. To my surprise, there was a armful of mail crammed inside, inside of my teeny tiny mailbox. Um, so then I realized what I'd forgotten about was that I had actually ordered a bunch of random things um, as part of a survey I was taking. Um, it wasn't a big deal. Each of these packages was like a dollar, so, you know, it can harm anything. I didn't end up completing the survey just because you had to do so many of their stupid offers. And it eventually got to the point where, you know, I'd already ordered all the things I'd cared about and even some of the things I didn't care about, so I was done. But I did get a couple of cool things about it. I think overall I only spent like $4. And so I have three packages here that I'm going to open up. One is a bunch... I know what most of these... I know what they are, but doesn't mean you do. So let's start with this one. I didn't pay attention to exactly what was it, like the details of what was in this. All I know is it's mostly books, like little educational kids books and things like that, which, you know, I mean, if I am having a baby, that might be useful. It's adorable puppy. All right, let me get this plastic off. So this package is for National Geographic booklets. First one is Jump Pup. Ooh, I like this dog. So it's just like a puppy book full of various adverbs. <laughs> English. You know, questions, verbs, things like that. And these are all going to be super simple, super childish, but they're really adorable. Next we have Caterpillar to Butterfly. So basically, I'm guessing it's just going to go through the life cycle of a butterfly, which, you know, butterflies honestly creep me out in the face for some reason. I'm not sure why. That one's actually level one. Three of these are pre-readers, and this one's in level one. Next one is race day, so car stuff. That's nifty. And safari. So this one is just a bunch of, like, Wild African animals. Adorable! The lions and like rhinos and hippo. So that's super exciting. And even if I didn't finish the survey and get whatever, I think it was like, I don't remember what the survey was even for, but the, whatever. I don't care. I got a bunch of cool stuff out of it. And even if I don't end up having a kid right now, uh, it's, I mean, I do want to be a teacher later, so, you know, classroom supplies. So the next package I got was basically a bunch of Dr. Seuss books. This one's not actually a Dr. Seuss book, but it's in the same style, which is Go Dog Go, which is not one I'd actually ever heard of, but that looks really cute. Next one, and then we have, oh my gosh! Okay, so... Ten apples up on top. That is another one I haven't heard of, so that looks adorable as well. And then we have the classic cat in the hat, because who hasn't seen that one? And then this one is Mr. Brown Can Moo, Can You? Which is actually one that I remember I would read all the time as a little kid. Like, I loved this book when I was really little. So that brings back the memories, and that's really cool. Oh, okay. So I actually don't drink coffee, but this was like the next most interesting thing while I was still trying to like grab hold of what I could for this survey while I still cared. So I've got this pretty little thank you card with coupons. It says, have you tried our tea? So I might look into where their tea comes from and things like that because I do like tea. This one was $2. Oh, so maybe I spent like five, but still. No, I think I only spent the four. I think these were my only three packages. So, coming soon. Free silver plated scoop and canister. Hamilton Beach coffee maker. I already have my nifty Keurig machine. I have two bags of coffee, which I hate coffee. I don't drink coffee, so these are probably going to be gifted to somebody else who does like coffee. Not sure who yet, but this first one is Passionata Blend. 
chocolate truffle. Oh no, I've never heard of Amora coffee, but I might actually have to try some of this because these actually don't smell nearly as bad. Oh, they've got those little smell holes. I know that sounds kind of weird, but like a lot of coffee bags like this, they have these little holes right here where you can like squish the bag a little and sniff through the hole. So these don't actually smell disgusting like most coffee do. Coffees do. I really don't like coffee though. <laughs> like I said, this is just the most interesting thing out of what I have left. And then they still wanted me to fill it, do like five more offers. And I was like, no, please, no. This one is the Angelico French Vanilla Blend, which actually smells really good. So yes, those are probably going to be gifts for someone. I'm not sure who yet because I'm like the only person I know who doesn't like coffee. But yeah, that was my mail adventure today. I did not expect to be recording anything else and I didn't expect to be getting those. I totally forgot that even happened. But yeah, that was really cool and I'm really satisfied with those, even if I didn't end up completing that survey for whatever it was. For $4, that's a pretty good amount of stuff and it's all useful, so... I guess I'll see you guys later. If I get anything else interesting in the mail, I'll let you know.